Um, you've obviously heard there what the police have had to say and also what the families uh, have had to say. What's your initial view? My initial view is it's been a little bit of a blame game so far, which is only natural. But what we really need to focus on is two things, and I'll touch on them briefly. The first is countering this romantic ideal of an Islamic utopia, um, which we really need to do by increasing resources to civil society agents and actors, including teachers, family members, friends of these schoolgirls, so that this case doesn't happen again. And the second is, again, uh, focusing on integration, trying to understand what could have caused this radicalization, what could have made these see this journey as something that they want to participate in, and really focus on stop th stopping this from happening again to other young, vulnerable girls. I don't think anyone is, is to blame here. These, these girls made a decision on their own, um, and so we really need to, need to focus on what caused them to make this decision, and how can we stop other young, vulnerable people from making similar decisions in the future. I'm sure a lot of uh, our viewers watching at home will, will be struck by how uh, people who feel that their only option is to go to Syria and be um, a jihadi bride or to fight for IS or whatever uh, seem to be coming younger and younger. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it is very difficult to see the appeal of why people would go, especially young girls, to join the Islamic go? State. Uh, they go, I think, uh, in the cases that we've examined, they go because they feel they don't fit in. Uh, they feel that they're joining an ideological cause. They feel like they're joining a war. And no one says that life in the Islamic State is going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult. But they feel that it's justified because they're going out there and fighting a war against the West. Well, clearly and their own family members, the sister who was speaking, is the idea that her sister has made a jump from keeping up with the Kardashians to that sort of a, right. another extreme uh, within p possibly days or weeks. But is it that much of a jump? I mean, she was also subscribed to over a hundred jihadist websites. She was having conversations on social media, on Twitter. Unfortunately, when young girls do go online, they do interact with, uh, with uh, people like this. They are essentially fed a fantasy, a very romantic fantasy. And so we need to try to understand why and how is it happening. And you're absolutely right. They're younger and younger. And so we need to have appropriate role models who can speak to them about countering this appeal that might be presented by essentially, uh, you know, people online who are training them or speaking to them or having conversations with them. Do you think that the families will see these girls again? I hope so, um, especially after these comments made just now about them uh, being able to return. Right, did we? No, no, no. Okay. Please carry on. Um, I, I, I hope so. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's likely.